Just wanted to give you the word. Just wanted you to get the picture. Am I right? In the same way that you, you couldn't easily share and send negatives in traditional photography, you know, because you've got, you know, one copy of the negative. When you've got raw files, they're huge. It's hard to share them, too. But with a few tricks, you can convert, convert your raw files into a friendly sharing format. Actually, this is part of the process of using raw in general. Here to explain how our, the king of shooting digital, in fact, that's the name of this book, Mikkel Oland. The king of shooting digital. The king of shooting digital. <laughs> he wrote it. I like that. Yeah. That's that could good. be your new that's title. That's a new title. So first of all, what is raw? Okay. Well, raw is the, is the, process, is the format that comes... The information comes off the sensor of the digital camera. People don't understand that the camera yeah. processes, normally, processes what you take. It, yeah, it takes all that information from the sensor and makes a JPEG or a TIFF, depending right. how you set the camera. And it may be compressing it, it may be modifying the light, the, it's making the color decisions. balance. It's, process, it's like yeah. making a print from a negative. Right. The negative, though, is the raw information. Ah, that's a good way to put it. So it is... It is all the bits that came off the, the camera's pickup. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a big file. It, you know, believe it or not, it's not as big as a TIFF. If a, a TIFF's tif bigger? A TIFF is, tif is bigger because the RGB channels have already have been separated. I see. And the RAW file, they haven't been separated. It's really almost like a bitmap. It's like dot here, dot here, dot here, dot here, dot here, and a color value it, for each, it's, right? It actually looks like a prim primordial stew. It's all gray. <laughs> and, you know, there's nothing. Oh, yeah, if really you look at it, it, you can't really see. No, yeah, it's yeah. nothing there. It hasn't been, it hasn't been assembled and put together. So, when you, so you shoot raw because you want to be in charge of what happens to the picture after you take it. I want to have the ultimate control of my image. So most of the time, most you know, point-and-shoot photographers are not going to use raw because, you know, I mean, that's kind of... Well, the, not only the image yeah. is big, but, uh, you know, I have to process it before I can even see it. The, raw is for people who want to get the most out of their digital camera. Right. Serious photographers. Pros, people who are taking... Pros are one, but serious pe people or, that want to get the most out of that picture. Or that special picture where you Absolutely. don't want, you know, you want to do it. Leo, you know, in a digital camera, you can set to save raw, right. and then set to save a JPEG. You can right. actually alter from frame to frame, and that's right. one of the beauties about shooting digital. So you can say, oh, this is going to be a perfect shot. It's a right. landscape. So say, right. I'm going to shoot it as raw, because I want to get all the information I can out of it. Next shot, it's the kids playing in the backyard. Right. You don't, you're not so worried about all the information. You just want to capture the action. Now, you have a new book on the RAW format? Do you have a the book new, on? Yes, I am so excited about RAW. I, I think RAW is, 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 is a great... If you can work with that information and, and, and know how to work with it, you're going to be so much more satisfied with your photographs. And I, I just finished a book called Photoshop CS2 RAW. Okay. And it's about using Photoshop CS2 to get the most out of your RAW Files. And that's one reason you might now consider RAW, is that finally the tools pretty much handle it, right? You don't yeah. have to... In the, it, Absolutely. A couple of years ago, Absolutely. it was a problem. It was Leo, difficult. you're so right. Even when we talked about it a year ago, yeah. it was like, this is a great idea, but Nothing's in order... Ready. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't quite ready. Right. With Photoshop CS2, uh, everything's been ramped up to accommodate RAW. You have uh, Camera RAW, which is a component of Photoshop CS2 that really has been optimized now. It's very, it's very streamlined. And it'll handle Nikon, Canon, all the different manufacturers. It's upgraded all, like all updated all the time to okay. take care of the, the new Because they all have different kind of RAW formats. Yeah, that's another yeah. problem. Yeah, they, yeah. The, the RAW format is, is not, it's not really a format right. per se. Now, what about lower end? I know iPhoto supports RAW now. Right. Does uh, Adobe uh, Photoshop Elements support RAW? It does. So, yeah. so you can shoot RAW now and, and, and quickly get an image, at least kind of an approximation of what you've got. Oh, sure. Yeah, now, what do you do? Well, you, uh, you shot, okay, let's, this yeah. is great. Mikkel was just, just got here from Norway, <laughs> he, the family home mm -hmm. in Norway, mm -hmm. and the uh, traditional burning of the outhouse. <laughs> the no, tradi traditional, but he burned his outhouse down because you were done with it. It was falling apart and you wanted to burn it. Right. So he's got some great images. These are amazing. Okay, so the, well, the challenge here, there's a couple things going on. I, should, I shot it all raw because mm -hmm. I like raw. Mm -hmm. And in this case, it really was great that I shot it in raw because, uh, I mean, with, the all, the, was with all the excitement, Excitement of getting ready to burn this outhouse yeah. down. I actually the white balance was was not set properly right. on the camera. Right. So if you look at these uh, thumbnails that are appearing in it's a little bridge, blue. bridge is another aspect of the new Photoshop CS2 where I can this kind of photo, organize. This is it. the old browser kind of. It's, yeah, it's the old file browser. On, on yeah. yeah, exactly. So it's it's got a blue tint because I had the white balance set sure. wrong. Well, well, it's tough because you've got orange fire, blue snow. I mean, the, the, it's going to be tough. It's to do tricky. This. But the fact is, 
because with RAW, white balance settings don't matter. There, there is no white balance. No, you, you, to set, it, the camera tells it to do something, but it, right. but that's not what the data itself uh, is doing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of walk through this fairly quickly. I'm, again, yeah, we just use up most of your segments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I want to understand the meat and this. Potatoes, but but. I have to say that all this information will be up on the web, okay. and it's all in the new book as well. Okay. So, but I'll go through it very quickly. The challenge here is that I've got well, how many? 73 photographs, right. but the white balance is all off. Right. I have 73 photos here. They're all in the raw format. So I can't share a raw format. No, nobody wants file. it. File. Right. So what I need to do is, A, change all the white balances, correct them. Okay. Apply it globally to them all, right. and convert all these images into either a JPEG or a TIFF. Something that you can sense. Yes, okay. and it w I don't want to do these one by one. No, but what I can do is I'll pick a sample image. For example, this this is one image that uh, I'm going to. Uh oh, okay. it won't open it because we have you set to a lower resolution. And if I do that, it'll probably go to 1024 by 768. See, see what, what happens? we can do. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess, yeah. Uh, you shouldn't be at 800 by 600 here. You should be it'll, at 1024. So what? Okay, there, there it is. It, it. I'm not sure. It's not it shows happy, the but whole it, thing. But you get an idea. This is yeah. camera raw. This is another part of Photoshop CS2. Right. So what I'm going to go in here. I could go the snow through. It's blue. I mean, I can see that it's not right. I can pick different settings for the white balance. That's an mm. auto setting. That's it's, pretty it's good. It's getting better. Yeah. Daylight. Getting a little better, but what I'm really going to do is to get the best results is I'm going to find. You know, the snow is white. <laughs> well, I get into, or I want a neutral gray area. Oh, gray is better than so white. So I'm going to hit okay. this right there. That's the that's, midpoint. That's and I can tell. I should be able to tell by the RGB values up there that I'm pretty. Oops. That I'm pretty close. Yeah, really close to. A oh, I see. Gray. Red is 116. G gray, green is 116. So if they're all roughly the same neutral. values, then you're neutral. And okay. in fact, that looks That's pretty neutral. good. Okay. So what I'm gonna what I do th now is save that setting because I want to mm -hmm. apply that to all the other images. So that's the proper white balance. That's I've got the white balance set is for that, this image. Is that even better than the camera's own white balance it automatic depends. white balance? It's I mean, that's a, a pretty good way to do it. This is a really good way. To do it. But yeah. cameras nowadays are pretty darn okay. good. Okay. So and it's safe. You know, safe to work if you got it right in the first. Place. Right, right. So what I went, what I'm going to do next? I'm talking yeah. too fast. You're going to save slow this. Down. No, no, don't slow down. Okay, <laughs> slow, don't slow. <laughs> Whatever you do. So what I want to do is save. I'm going to save these settings. I, I've okay. already done this, so I don't need to do okay. it now. And I'm going to name it. Okay. And then I'm going to close out. Once I'm done with that, I'll close out of. Uh, oh, if I can, if I can scroll around here. Oh, this is a. This is. I can't scroll around though. Command W to close that window. I think. Uh, let's see. No. Nope. Now, Camera Raw has different. Uh, uh, here, 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 here. I think you can do it if you if you uh, keep grabbing the edge. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, you can't. It's oh, down it's there. down there. Yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. So can you hit but, OK. And I, I just move it out escape. of the way. We don't need it. Escape works. Okay. So then what I'll do is I'll apply <laughs> all. Now I've you selected I've all. all of these now. And you have a custom setting that you created. And I've created this uh, custom setting I call Outhouse, outhouse Correct. correct. <laughs> and when Which I will be that. available on the web for those of you who are planning to burn outhouses in the near future. Oh, yeah. There's an art to that, too. <laughs> we can go into that for the, in the next segment. Okay. <laughs> it's very technical. <laughs> I bet it is. Anyway, so it's going to go through all the different settings. Uh, it, it's fairly quick. It's not affecting the data. So that, this hasn't changed on the screen. It will. It'll, it'll start oh, there up it here. Okay. This one's and now already been changed. Changing them. Look at that. Yeah. It, it it's going to work difference. its way through. And the, the faster the processor you have, right. obviously, the faster it'll, uh, right. the, the, this will take, uh, take I place. I see it's actually working. Yeah. It's working. Yeah. It's working really hard. It's not changing the, the information of the raw The basic data. picture is still there. It's creating what's called a sidecar that has the information. Sidecar. Yeah. Like it's attached to the, a sidecar. And how would you then now convert this to JPEG? I see okay. it slowly fixing so these. They look so much better. Now we're getting the white balance right on all of them. Look at that. And it, it would go through fairly quickly. Yeah. Um, on a faster machine. All right. Yeah. So now the next challenge. I want okay. to convert JPEG and TIFFs. And I don't want to go through one by one. No, no, no. Really simple with the, with the new Photoshop CS2. Uh, file or edit. Excuse me. Here. We're under tool. Excuse me. Uh, and we're going to do something called image processor. Okay. Tools, Photoshop, image processor. Okay. That there opens up a new window. I'm not sure how it'll open it up with the with, with the, the, uh, with the resolution. Problem, yeah. It'll be a it, <laughs> it should be a dialog box. There, we there go. you go. Here you choose exactly what you want. Save as a JPEG. You, you can, can even size choose the it. Quality. Quality. Save as a TIFF. Oh, and down great. here I can't I can't see the bottom. But, right. There's but, more uh, down there. There's there. more down there. You can add an action to it. And as soon as I hit run and I won't because okay. it'll, it'll take, take too much takes yeah. too much time. It will go